couple of jokes for you. Why is the sun so smart? Because it has over 5,000 degrees. No, 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 it didn't land. <laughs> well, why did it go to school in the first place? To get a little brighter. All right, <laughs> I got a couple of laughs out there. Uh, if you love a good joke, today is your day because it is National Tell a Joke Day. And as you can tell, my jokes might need a little bit of help, which is why we're bringing in the professionals here. I've got comedian Andrea Reeps with Alchemy Comedy Theater here with us in the studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much. So obviously, I need a little help. <laughs> So I'm just kidding. Uh, so telling jokes are obviously not as easy as it looks. I know I certainly struggle with that. Do you have any tips for amateurs like me? Well, I just, I love a corny and silly joke. I think your jokes were great. <laughs> it's always fun to do something that's kind of punny, little little play on words. That's always good stuff. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when it comes to jokes, I think a lot of it depends on your audience, too, and being True. able to read that. Do you have uh, any advice for how people can do that? Well, yeah. If, if you're going to be, you know, performing or telling jokes and you see there's a lot of kids in the room, you'll definitely want to relate to them. Do some really fun kind of dad jokes. If it's like a, a younger crowd you may want to pick things that they might know and and skip stuff that's maybe from your own childhood because they're not going to have any point of reference for that <laughs> valid point very valid point. <laughs> uh, so do you have any of your own favorite jokes? Oh, well, I mean, did you hear about the hot dog that went to the Olympics? No. He was a wiener. Oh, yeah. yes. Excellent. So bad. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Where does uh, Santa Claus keep his money? In a snowbank. In a snowbank. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah. That's a great one, especially because we can use that in a couple of months. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that one. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> um, so, you know, telling the jokes is really an art form, which is one of the things that you get to do at Alchemy. Yes. Uh, tell me a little bit about the experience of improv comedy. Oh, that is so much fun because you kind of can practice for it, but you never really know what's going to happen. Uh, you're working together as a team to just sort of create magic out of the air. It's so much fun. And when it comes together, it's amazing. I I think as an audience member, I've been to see you guys a handful of times. It is really magic to watch mm -hmm. because you really can tell that you're tr you guys are thinking so much on your feet because it's like you're not you don't know what the other person's going to say, no. and then you're playing off of that. It's yeah. really truly truly a talent. Uh, so how can people actually check out you performing? Oh well, we have shows at uh, the Alchemy Comedy Theater, which is in Coffee Underground downtown, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at seven thirty and nine. Have some other special ones kind of dotted in. You can check out the calendar at alchemycomedy.com or greenvillecomedy.com and find us there. Go watch the professionals actually tell the jokes. It really is a fun <laughs> evening to head out to Alchemy, so I definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking for something to do on the weekend. So, yeah, thank you so much for being with Absolutely. us here. Absolutely. Thank you Appreciate for having it. me. And uh, practice those jokes, Margaret Ann. What you got?